In a quiet town of Dete, Zimbabwe, a tragedy unfolded that shook the community to its core. Exmas Mpofu, a former employee of the Painted Dog Corporation, stood accused of a heinous crime. The victim was none other than Greg Gibbard, a conservationist and the founder of PDC, who had dedicated his life to protecting endangered wildlife. Greg Gibbard from Perth, Australia, aged 62, was found exed to death in April 2015 outside his residence in Dete, Wange. He had two head wounds on his head. He had lived in Wange near the national park in his cottage from 2010. He was heard screaming by Mtenj Wasibanda, a security guard who was at the gate. When he rushed there, he saw him in a pool of blood facing down. The news sent ripples of shock and sorrow through the hearts of those who knew him. Gibbard had left his home in Australia five years prior, driven by a passion to conserve the African painted dogs, a species under threat. His commitment to the cause was unwavering and his impact indelible. Exmas Mpofu had worked alongside Gibbard at the shelter for over a decade. Their relationship was not just professional, they were friends. But in a twist of fate, Mpofu lost his job the previous year and their paths diverged under the darkest of circumstances. It is believed he was aggrieved at Greg because of the size of the service package given to him. He had been fired from the job 2014 after he took off with the company vehicle without permission and had an accident. The police first suspected him after they found two buttons that belonged to his shirt in Greg's cottage. It is also believed that he had threatened Greg by an email and SMS for being given only 2,000 US dollars as a service package after being fired. The chairman of PDC, John Lemon, expressed his devastation and disbelief. Having worked closely with both men, the news of the murder left him feeling cold and sick. The community reeled as they grappled with the reality that a friend could be capable of such an act. As arrangements were made for Gibbard's body to be cremated in Africa, with some of his ashes to be returned to Australia, the loss of a man who had served as an army sapper and worked as an accountant before answering the call of the world was deeply felt. The legacy of Greg Gibbard, a man who ventured far from home to make a difference, would not be forgotten. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of human relationships and the profound impact one individual can have on a community both in life and in death.